Hello there and welcome to the new Tableau dashboard tutorial. Uh, basically, it's, it's not a tutorial I would say, uh, which is more like a step by step because I've already posted many videos related to this. But this is more like a quick walkthrough of this design of this dashboard, which is the product shipping dashboard. Let's say uh, you are working on a scenario where you need to provide the shipping related information to your uh, management and you want to look at uh, some of the examples of uh, the shipping related dashboard. So that's what I thought uh, we have the shipping related information in the sample superstore file and you can use practically any file which has the shipping information but this sample superstore is something uh, sample superstore is something which is present in my uh, google drive which I share the link down there in the description. Um, so what it has is uh, you know highest shipping mode there are different shipping mode by which you know a company provide the products to their customer. So what is the highest shipping mode? What is the order count and the card trend of orders each uh, year? Similarly, how much is the average shipping time? So for example, in 2009, what was the shipping cost? And you can see the trend is going up. So pretty useful information. And then slightly the trend is going down. Now the two things either you have the efficient operations or it is just the partial data. So this is a matter of scrutiny and a sort of analytical point which you need to create for your management. Similarly, the third KPI is let's say what finalized was the shipping cost. So what is the average shipping cost at company level which comes which is coming out $13 and this 13 13 is basically in decimals so maybe this is 13 point let's say 5 this is 13.1 that's why it is going down and we can change this by changing the number formatting i think showing one decimal value will going to be way much better so this is a shipping cost so here i have the shipping cost trend sheet which i can change and i can change it later probably so these are the three KPIs which are properly organized uh, at the top left. This is where, you know, the first the eye comes and uh, then you move on to the next chart, which is taking a good space because it has a good number of categories showing you for each of the product subcategory type, uh, how much uh, order, how, what is the order count and how much you are uh, spending for the shipping cost. So for example, tables you have 360 360 as the orders and the twenty thousand dollars is what you have spent uh, in shipping it right similarly down there the lowest one is the rubber bands where you have 179 orders and you have spent 225 dollars overall now one can create uh, another uh, calculated field which is uh, shipping cost per order so which is 20,653 divided by 360 just to look at the efficiency uh, from a different perspective this chart can tell you the actual value but it does not tell the efficiency though so that's an ad addi additional enhancement that one can do to provide much more insight but this one i have created just to show the actual information if, if let's say that's what your management is really asking rather than the efficiency so apart from this, you have the top five products by shipping cost. What is a product name, uh, the delivery mode and the shipping cost and the average shipping time. So average shipping cost and average shipping time. So clearly this Bush Advantage Collection Racetrack Conference table, which is related to this category is definitely it's the highest one. Probably one of the reasons you have the tables as the highest category. Okay, so once you have done this, or after this uh, detailed information and the KPI at the top, you have the various different filters like the customer segment, consumer, corporate, home office, small business. So if you want to look at corporate, all your information will going to change. Or if you want to look at the consumer, or if you want to look at the home office, this trend and these charts changes accordingly. So that's another thing. Apart from this, uh, since it is a shipping mode, Having the order priority uh, can be a good thing as a filter. So for example, you have high shipping, high order priority, what sort of uh, shipping related information is coming out. 
if you have the low order priority what's the shipping related information medium so on and so forth so i'll keep it all and similarly if you want to have want to have a particular look at the region let's say your regional leaders are looking at this information then let's say for example quebec is what uh, quebec manager wants to look at this information they have their own view over here so this dashboard as you can see is serving a lot of different purpose from the perspective of shipping dashboard and all in all this is more like giving you a design and giving you some idea about how you can design your own shipping dashboard but this design can also be implemented wherever you want and the template is something i have given it the link i have given it in the description so that you can get it and if if you want to do it i will just show you in few minutes how you can do it it's pretty straightforward but if you want to use it as it is uh, by replacing the data then uh, i i am <coughs> sorry i am providing the template link in the description <coughs> all right so i am coming out of this and what we were going to take is the first of all the data source so data source is as i said nothing it's it's a pretty straightforward sample superstore you can get it from my um uh, from my link which i've given uh, the only thing is uh, this there are multiple uh, superstore file this one is related to the canada so this province information like alberta ontario british columbia all of these are like province in the or the region information is also if you can see is ontario uh west and prior so all of this is in the canada so quebec is is in canada so just just to keep in mind if you are trying to replicate this then what we are coming up with the highest uh, shipping mode as you can see i am using this formatting this so i am using this title higher shipping mode what is this semi bold and 15 um regular air is something which is coming from here the ship mode here i am providing a filter by coming here because i have provided i have given the filter already that's why added filter is coming but if there is no filter you will see the add filter option so once you click on the added filter uh, you will find these option you need to come on this last option by default you will be here on general but at the in this option the top option i am going to get the top one that means the highest value and the highest value is basically your uh, for the shipping mode and what's exactly the count of order right so regular air is basically your top one and uh, the count of order is basically your 6255 accordingly so after that we have this uh, shipping trend where we are having the uh the this particular chart right this one and as you can see what we are doing is we are combining this sheet with this sheet so this is one sheet this is another sheet okay similarly and and if you will see the coloring and everything is something i have gone here on the format in the shading i have chosen this color which is this one right so this is the shading which you have done i am removing all the grid lines from rows and columns i guess similar stuff from here i don't want to show any line so this is something you need to take care similarly for font i think uh, the font color is basically this one which i am using right and the line color is basically coming from here color and this particular option i'm using is for line color and this is a dual axis chart so we have count of orders as the line chart and the area chart just to show the shadow so that it looks nice in the dashboard we have the count of orders in the area and we are not displaying anything so with that similar information is going here top 5 products over here filter is done on the product name to to basically show the products information and as you can see we are showing shipping cost and shipping time then you have the average shipping time again this is the average and the shipping time field is is basically a calculated field and it is over here so this is your ship date minus order date right so this is what it is and once you take this shipping time put the average 
you will get two days. By default, you will going to get the sum. So make sure that average is what you select. Then the same thing is, uh, is in the trend, the same information which I showed here as a trend, the same is being replicated over here. After that, shipping trend, this is also a dual axis. So sum of shipping cost and count of orders. And I've just reduced the size of these bars by coming here. So this is again one more, one more dual axis chart, which I'm showing it over here. Um, what's the shipping cost? So every shipping cost, shipping cost is the direct field. This is not a drive field, but the shipping cost is the field which, which I'm using. So every shipping cost and the shipping cost trend, right? So all of this information, I, I experiment with a couple of other things as well uh, for this, like uh, how the trend is really coming when we see it by dollar and bifurcated by shipping mode. Uh, we also look, I also was experimenting with the orders, uh, the total order received and the order trend, if, if that makes sense. As you can see, nothing, nothing much was coming out of this. So I just kept it aside and used only the relevant metrics in this dashboard. So what's going on in this dashboard is first of all, this background panel. This is nothing but the vertical panel. You can even choose the horizontal, no worries. But this is something where I am doing the coloring the gray color, right? So once we have this, uh, all of these components which you see is in a floating mode. So for example, this one, this is a text component. If I double click, you will see that product shipping, this one is just part of this. And all of these filters is basically coming from this particular sheet, which I have put it on top of this text box. But all in all, it looks like these filters are basically part of the uh, of the this this header now the filters once you select the sheet the the filters are here once you go on those this drop down filters customer segment order priority and region right so these are the one which i have chosen after that it is more like uh, holding down the shift key and keeping the components here holding down the shift key is very important when you are dragging any component from here or from here so that once you have the component on the canvas it is in a floating order so that you can put it wherever you want so that's what i've done i have put everything is in a floating mode so if i want to move anywhere it can be moved so press the Control c and yeah that's it so it looks like it is part of one component similarly with this component similarly with this component and if you see i have tried to do a equal spacing because with this your dashboard gets a nice look and feel and uh, your components are different and you don't have to do anything separate uh, for for making sure that your components are separate so this is uh, what you need to do product subcategory and shipping cost is i have put it like this and if you see uh, the design is like you have three tiles over here and two tiles here. This one tile is covering the two tiles so that it is in alignment and the third tile is covering this this particular one. So accordingly, I have put the sizing information and down there you have the option of uh, option to your users that they can reach out to you that for any question or clarification, you can reach out or if you have any points related to this dashboard like some of the data issues uh, that you want user to be aware of, some of the uh, other points, uh, analytical points. If you are writing, you can write it maybe two, three points here, or you can increase the canvas size by changing the height and you can write more points over here. So this will give you some option or some space where you can write some commentary, you can write whom to reach out to you in case of any question and get your user's query satisfied. So as you can see, this is a very simple business dashboard design for from a product shipping dashboard perspective. But ultimately, this can be used for either shipping or you have any other, uh, uh, you know, plan for creating a dashboard. And if you want to use this design, go ahead, use it. It's free to use. And the link or link of the template is also present in the in the description if you want to buy it. So that's mainly I wanted to show you very quickly the design of uh, product shipping dashboard let me know what do you think about it if you like it hit the like button and make sure you subscribe it 
and then uh, yeah why not share it with others so that uh, they can also get to know uh, what what are the different examples that are present so thank you so much for watching this video i, I hope uh, it has provided you some useful insight and i'll meet you in the next video with some new information